Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is vectors and our subtopic is sum of column vectors. So in the previous lesson we were able to identify what a vector a column vector is and we were able to use the graph to represent and to show and to read from the graph how a column vector looks like we talked about the x coordinate and the y coordinate and how we determine if it's positive or negative depending on the direction we take so let's look at if you add now uh, two vectors if you add them and then you present that also in a graph so if you're adding two common vectors you see we have vector with x unit of a and y unit of b plus another vector with x unit of c and y unit of d so it means the x uh, units are going to be added together and the y added together that's how we add up these two d vectors so for example if you have this example so what you're going to do you're going to add the the x x uh, values which is going to be 4 plus 3 and then you also add the y values which is 2 plus negative 4 so this is going to give us 7 and then 2 plus minus 4 is going to be minus 2 because you see, remember we are we are adding a positive value to a negative value which is large so this is the vector that we are representing so it's moving um seven units on the x-axis on the positive side, side so if we decide this is our big our starting unit for example it's going to move seven units on the x on the x-axis so one two three four five six seven units so this is the final point and then two units but downwards downward on the y-axis so one two so our second point will be a starting point will be a so our our vector is going to be like this so it's moving from seven units so it's going to be like this all right so let's look at another example so a is three seven b two negative four and c negative three negative four so 5BC, and then we are also going to represent that on our graph. So B plus C, so that is the same as 2, negative 4, plus negative 3, negative 4, which is going to be the same as 2 plus negative 3, and negative 4 plus negative 4. So this is going to give us 2 plus negative 3 is going to give us negative 1. Negative 4 plus negative 4 will give us negative 8. So this tells us that our, our vector is moving one step along the x-axis and eight steps along the y-axis. So we are going to put our starting point here since we notice most of our values for the y-axis will be down. So it's moving one step and it's on the x-axis so it is moving in this direction. So this is our starting point and then eight steps downward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the next point. So our vector, this is our vector, how it looks like. From this point so let's let me join those points so that's how our vector looks like you can use a straight line uh, to show your vector so a plus b so for now I'll just be putting the down the points you can join the points uh, by yourself using a, a ruler so a plus b so we're going to show that in this uh, plane so a plus b that is the same as 3 7 plus our b is 2 negative 4 so this is the same as 3 plus 2 7 plus minus 4 so 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5 and then 7 plus minus 4 is going to give us 3. So we are showing 5, 3 and they are all positive. So if we start from this point, we are going to move 5 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then upwards 3 steps. 
one, two, three. So our second point is this, our starting point is here and our final point is going to be here. So notice that is going to be our vector. Let's look at another example. So we have a given for 7, 3 is 3, negative 5, c is 0, 4. So you have been told to look for a plus b. So let's look for a plus b and represent it in the graph. So a plus b is going to be 4, 7, plus 3, negative 5. So this is going to be the same as 4 plus 3. 7 plus negative 5, which is, is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus negative 5 is going to be 2. So when we show that on the plane, we will start here. We are moving on the x-axis, 7 steps on the positive direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 steps on the y-axis on the positive side. So 1, Two. So our next point is here, our beginning point is here. So this is going to be our vector. And then next is B plus C. So B is going to be 3, negative 5. And then plus C, which is 0, 4. So this is the same as 3 plus 0, negative 5, plus 4, which is going to be 3. Negative 5 plus 4 is going to be 1, negative 1. So we are moving three steps on the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, and one step on the y-axis on the negative side. So downward here. So this is our final point. This is our starting point. So this is our vector. And then finally, a plus c. So a is 4, 7. Then plus C, our C is 0, 4. So this is going to be 4 uh, plus 0 and 7 plus 4. So this will give us 4 and then this will be 11. So we are going to move 4 steps on the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 11 steps on the y-axis, positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is our final point here. So this is our, our terminal. This is our beginning. So you join these two. And remember the, the vector, you have to show direction. So check out more revision questions uh, on the app and learn how to represent uh, these vectors, these column vectors, when you have added them on a graph. And also there are notes on the same on the app, so go and access them and practice on the same. So see you in the next lesson.